White all over the map. Well, we know white typically this time of year means snow and we're all getting snow out there. If we haven't yet, you will. Oh, you will. And you're going to get a bunch of wind as well. We're looking at wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. We've had a lot of wind already, but there's certainly more of that on the way. More snow that will accumulate into the overnight into the latter part of tomorrow morning. One to 10 inches. Obviously, in the lower elevations, probably closer to, their, closer to that one inch, you get up higher, up high, we're looking at about 10 inches, and this advisory is out until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now, for some of the higher mountains in our area, to the west and to the east of us, we'll certainly get a little more than just 10 inches, up to 28 inches possible over the ridge tops of the central mountains, so above Stanley and the peaks of the Satu, certainly that much. And the Tetons could get over a foot and a half. Jackson itself, four to eight. I think uh, several inches of snow, likely in Driggs. Certainly more snow in Victor, though, down to the south. Island Park could get anywhere from six to 12 inches of snow. Now we're talking, right? And this uh, winter storm warning that's out will go through the better part of tomorrow. And then it will go to bed briefly tomorrow evening. Wouldn't be surprised if another one's issued for tomorrow night into Sunday because we have another storm that's going to impact our weekend. But right now, our current storm showing a little bit of rain trying to mix in with that snow over the lower half of the Snake River Plain. So certainly the possibility of rain. At least in Idaho Falls, Pocatello area, you can see all the snow, and then it quickly turns to liquid precipitation all the way through the Magic Valley. So tonight's forecast, we have snow and wind, rain possible, low temperatures, definitely cold enough for that snow to stick and turn to ice. With the rain, too, and wet snow, bad combination in the overnight. Snow likely for the central mountains, low temperatures, mid-teens, the mid-20s. We got snow and wind for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Low temperatures, a little warmer than they were last night. No single digits tonight. We'll either stay in the teens or the lower 20s, depending on location. And then for the southeastern corner, same thing, snow and wind. Low temperatures generally in the 20s. Tomorrow, we got more snow and wind. And if you're going to be traveling south, I-15, You'll probably want to wait until late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. We'll get a little bit of a window there before the next storm system moves in. We will get above freezing in Malad City with a high of 34. More of the same for the Upper Highlands, Western Wyoming. Snow and wind all day long into the evening. And then for the Central Mountains, our current storm breaking up. So just a chance of snow during the day with high temperatures barely above freezing in Chalice and Salmon. And then tomorrow for the daytime, Snake River Plain, we're done with this storm. Only thing we have to worry about is very windy conditions, gusts up to 45 with high temperatures, certainly colder than they were today, and wind chills probably down in the single digits with that wind. Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer seven day forecast with a round of wintry mix tomorrow night into Sunday, and then wow, Monday, Tuesday, we're in the 50s. Look at that. I don't fall seven day forecast. We get through the day tomorrow with all that wind. More snow though on the way tomorrow night. Second storm for the weekend. Hit into Sunday as well with snow likely, and then it turns warmer. Highs in the 40s, Monday and Tuesday, Teton area. We'll get a little warmer on uh, Sunday. It will still be snow that will fall. And then a couple of days where we get some sunshine, temperatures will warm up. We could see more rain and snow next Wednesday and Thursday. And for the Central Mountains, uh, rain and snow likely tomorrow night into Sunday. Another shot at some rain and snow on Tuesday.